another year gone and another year of unsatisfactory attempts at multiplayer game in the Resident Evil universe, with Reverse barely making a double digit player base in 2024 and with Resistance practically being left in 2020, we are once again unintentionally gasly into believing it's just not possible to create an authentic Resident Evil multiplayer experience that leaves a lasting impression on fans. Think about it, survival horror is fairly niche in the grand scheme of things, so to create a competitive multiplayer game in that universe just makes no sense to me. It's a niche in a niche. Games out there that do competitive multiplayer far better and have been established for far longer. There must be a business plan at Capcom HQ for this because quite frankly, I just can't see the rationale. However, I'm sure the next Resident Evil fan will tell you this experience was already demonstrated perfectly back in the mid 2000s with Resident Evil Outbreak and its sequel, File 2. What's up everybody, Andy here from Biohazard to Classified let's enter the survival horror once again and let me explain why i feel the time is now for a re-release or a full-on remake of resident evil outbreak Biohazard. although releasing very early on in the console multiplayer gaming in 2003 and 4 its premise was simple an authentic resident evil experience pitting the every man of the iconic raccoon city population in the heat of the outbreak playing off the classic screenwriting adage of ordinary people in extraordinary situations. For example, you can play as Alyssa, the reporter, Mark, the security guard, George, the doctor, David, the mechanic, and the list goes on. These all have cool stats and abilities that are unique in of themselves and they help in certain scenarios and hinder in others. But the best part, you can do this all with friends. Equally as cool is you can play this online today. Using a PC and the custom observed private servers, it's not a perfect experience, but for something set up by fans for fans, it definitely itches the scratch of survival horror multiplayer. Rather embarrassingly, as of writing this video, there are more players on the custom outbreak servers than on Reverse and Resistance on Steam. Now, am I saying that is that the sole reason to bring Outbreak back? Absolutely not but it's fairly evident that the recent RE games from Capcom indicate survival horror is here to stay. So why not make your multiplayer game in that ilk? Here are some reasons why I believe Resident Evil Outbreak will work well in Capcom's ecosystem in 2024. Firstly, we have modern technology. The advancements in gaming technology, specifically the RE engine, since the original release in 2003 are staggering. With the power of current generation consoles and PC hardware, a remake or re-release of Outbreak could bring the game to life in ways previously unimaginable. Over the shoulder, RE engine, high resolution graphics, realistic physics, immersive sound, the list goes on. This would elevate the original Outbreak experience and take it to new heights with everything that Capcom has learned in the RE engine and with modern Resident Evil remakes. Of course, online multiplayer. Resident Evil Outbreak was one of the first attempts at an online multiplayer in the franchise but the limitations of technology at the time have held it back. In 2024, it goes without saying gaming infrastructure is robust and it's widespread. A remake could fully leverage this, offering seamless online co-op experiences with crossplay that allow players to explore Raccoon City together, solving puzzles, fighting zombies, and making crucial decisions that impact the story. Let's talk about expanded content. The original Outbreak games have a limited number of scenarios and characters, a remake could expand on this, it could even bring in characters from Resistance and from the mainline story, maybe some side characters like Marvin Branagh, Brad Vickers, introducing new areas of Raccoon City to explore, additional storylines that delve deeper into the lore of the Resident Evil universe, and more diverse character options with unique abilities and backstories. This would not only attract new players who maybe didn't experience Resident Evil Outbreak for the first time, but also provide fresh content for fans of the original games. They can tell more ordinary people in extraordinary situations. I want to know how the everyman handled Raccoon City. Raccoon City is more than just a map, it's a character. So many unique stories that went unheard can now come to the surface. Of course it goes without saying the nostalgia factor. Resident Evil Outbreak has a dedicated fan base that fondly remembers the unique experience it offered. 
a remake, would tap into this nostalgia, whilst also introducing the game to a new generation of players who may have missed out on it the first time round. By staying true to the original atmosphere and gameplay mechanics while enhancing them with modern technology, the remake would appeal to both old and new fans alike. Now this is a very polarizing point, but potentially an opportunity for redemption. While the original Outbreak games received praise for their innovative approach to multiplayer survival horror, they were also criticized because of the tank controls and the technological limitations of the PlayStation 2. A remake presents the opportunity to address these issues, refining the gameplay mechanics, improving the controls, and optimizing performance to deliver a smoother and more polished experience. Because let's face it, when we played Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, I would love to jump back into Raccoon City and explore those areas that weren't highlighted in the remakes. It just gives me an opportunity to return back to Raccoon City. Maybe a more cost-effective solution would be to simply port the original as part of a PlayStation 2 Classics, uh, with the inclusion of multiplayer, of course. Maybe that's a more cost-effective option if Capcom didn't want to go down the line of a full-on remake. However, here's a couple of reasons why I think that Capcom are choosing not to revisit Outbreak. Initially, the focus on the mainline titles. Capcom might be prioritizing the development of mainline Resident Evil titles over spin-offs like Outbreak. Mainline titles often have larger budgets, higher sales potentials. It makes it a safer investment for the company. Although beloved, Outbreak can still be perceived as a risk to Capcom. Another thing could be resource allocation. Remaking a game requires significant resources, including time, money, manpower. Capcom might have allocated these resources to other projects or remakes that they deemed more commercially viable or had higher fan demand. There is still an element of uncertain demand. While Outbreak has a dedicated fan base, it might not have the same level of mainstream recognition or demand as other entries in the franchise. Capcom might be hesitant to invest in a remake without clear evidence it would be financially successful. Now another thing could be technical challenges. Remaking a multiplayer focused game like Outbreak presents unique technical challenges, especially in updating its online functionality for modern platforms. We do know the RE engine has experience with Monster Hunter World, with Dragon's Dogma 2, but I must admit the reverse and resistance Online multiplayer was subpar at best. There was a lot of network issues, a lot of rubber banding. Capcom might be cautious about tackling these challenges without a clear plan in place. Something that might be overlooked is licensing issues. There could be licensing issues or other legal hurdles preventing Capcom from remaking Outbreak. This include issues with the rights to certain characters, music, voice actors, or other assets that were used in the original game. And of course, strategic timing. Capcom might be waiting for the right time to capitalize on the nostalgia for Outbreak. Remakes are often strategic decisions made to coincide with anniversaries or other significant milestones for a franchise. Capcom might be biding their time for a more opportune moment to discuss a remake. While there are undoubtedly reasons why Capcom hasn't remade Resident Evil Outbreak yet, it might also be possible that they're just waiting for the right time. But what do you guys think? Is it time to revisit Resident Evil Outbreak? Should we see a remaster or a full-on remake of this iconic game? Let us know in the comments section. If you like this type of content, please drop a subscription. Biohazard Declassified is a dedicated Resident Evil platform with streams, memes, and daily news from the Resident Evil universe. I also go live on a weekly basis everywhere you love to watch streams. We hope to see you soon. Boom! Triple headshot, let's go.